Hey guys, so this is the Ledger Nano S and we're going to be setting it up with an Android phone. So let's open it up and see what we have in the box. So first of all, we have the device sort of like a USB stick so in the box we have a lanyard well, keychain a split ring we have a micro USB to USB this is for using with your PC or your Mac let's see the instructions so this is where you write up your 24 word recovery phrase and keep it hidden. You have three of these cards and it just tells you to go to ledger.com slash start and academy. So welcome to Ledger. Let's get started. So our device is the Nano S. We're going to set it up as a new device. So it just tells you a little bit of information about what it is okay let's get started again so you have to plan for about 30 minutes take your time okay let's go so the way you turn on the nano is you hook it up to the usb port of your phone so let's do that okay so it turned on so we're gonna read the instruction. It just says, it "Just says welcome to Nano S." So there's a right arrow. So we're just gonna put this. This we're just gonna push this button. It has two buttons. Press left or right to navigate. Okay. Press both buttons to validate. Okay, and you can get started at ledger.com forward slash start. Set up as new device. Restore from recovery phrase, and you have to press both buttons. This is just a reminder. Let's go back, set up as new device. Okay, so now we're gonna choose a pin. Your pin code is the first layer of security. It physically secures access to your nano and your private keys. Your pin code must be four to eight digits long. I understand that I might choose. I must choose my pin code by myself and keep it private. Set up pin code. Press the left or right button to change digits. Press both buttons to set to validate a digit. Choose pin, so we're gonna press, press both buttons. Okay, now we're just gonna choose our pin. So it's it numbers from zero to nine, and when you want to move to the next letter, you just press both buttons to validate a digit. Okay, so next up, the ledger is going to generate twenty-four words. And this is your recovery phrase. And remember that your 24 word recovery phrase is the only backup you have of your private keys. If you lose those, if you, then it's goodbye. You can never get them back. So your wallet is lost. So don't lose it, don't share it because your funds will be lost forever if you do. And also Ledger will never ask you to share it. So be sure to store it in a safe place. Okay, so it's going to generate 24 words so uh, you just follow the on-screen instructions when you move forward you just press on the button that the arrow tells you or you confirm using both buttons I'm going to I'm not going to film this for obvious reasons okay let's go okay so this is the last word I'm just gonna hit this button for the next step so you have you can press left to verify your words i'm going to do that right now okay after verifying your words you have to confirm your recovery phrase so you do that by pressing both these buttons making sure first that you written down all your words and in the correct order now we're going to confirm each word uh, it's going to show it to us and we're going to confirm it by clicking the two buttons both of them together so i'm going to do that right now okay so you're going to confirm your uh, word in order so you're going to do that by scrolling through each of them and then uh, when confirming pressing both buttons when you're at the 
right word in the appropriate place. So we're going to do that now. So after doing that, uh, your recovery phrase is set. So remember that was the last time you got to say it. So make sure you keep it, you keep it safe. Keep it in a secure place. That's what it says. Let's go forward. If lost, stolen, or forgotten, all your assets will be irremediably lost. Never share it with anyone. Ledger will never ask you for it. Press both buttons to continue. So that was that. Let's go forward by pressing these two buttons. So it's going to process now. Okay, so our device is now ready to use. Okay, let's go on back on the app and we're going to click next. So we've already done this. Confirm recovery. Okay, we've already done everything. So hide your recovery phrase. Make sure you, nobody else gets to see it because it's your last chance to access your crypto. If you cannot use your Nano, you must keep it in a safe place. If your Nano, if your Ledger Nano gets destroyed or something happens, it gets broken. If you have your recovery seed, you can just put that recovery seed in another cold storage wallet and you're gonna get all your crypto back. Okay, I'm done. Now game on, answer three simple questions to avoid common misconceptions. Misconceptions about your hardware wallet. Let's take the quiz. So as a Ledger user, my crypto is stored on my Nano or on the blockchain. So of course that it's, your crypto is always stored on the blockchain. Yeah, okay, we got that right. That one right, so next question. If my recovery phrase is no longer secret and safe, my crypto is no longer safe and I need to transfer them to a secure place, no problem, Ledger can send me a copy. No, Ledger doesn't know your recovery phrase, so my crypto is no longer safe. Okay, next question. When I connect my Nano to the Ledger app, my private key is still offline, briefly connected to, or briefly connected to the internet. So it's of, of course always offline. This never connects to the internet, that's why you need it. That's why you have these buttons here to confirm your transaction. So it's always on offline, it's never online. Okay, so we've done that. So now we're ready to safely manage our crypto. Only one quick step left. Let's connect my Nano. NOS. Allow Ledger Manager. I'm gonna keep confirm with both buttons. So our device is now ready. We can install apps on our device and manage our portfolio. Open Ledger Live. Install an app on my device. So now let's go and install the apps. This is we're going to use the app for this, so install apps on the Ledger. Select Ledger Nano S that is connected via USB. Okay, that says that the firmware is up to date and our device is genuine. If you need to update your firmware, it is only available on Ledger Live Desktop. So we need to use our computer for that. These are the apps that we can install. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance and a bunch more. Okay, let's do that. Let's install the Bitcoin app. It's installing it right now. App installed successfully. You can now add your Bitcoin accounts or we can do that later. We can add it now. Our crypto asset is Bitcoin. Open Bitcoin app. Yes. And our Bitcoin app is ready on our, on our ledger. Let's add an Ethereum account. Well, now first we need to install the app. So first we need to install the Ethereum app and then add the Ethereum account. Okay, so our connection failed. Let's 
with this app and go home. Now we're going to install Ethereum. See, it didn't let us install the Ethereum app. Only It only let us install the Ethereum app after we physically quit the Bitcoin app that was open on the Ledger device. Okay, so this is basically it. Now we can just go to our portfolio or our accounts. We can add an Ethereum account now. It asks us to open the Ethereum app. We're gonna confirm. It says that the application is ready and now it says that our accounts are being synchronized. Okay synchronized and now we can continue now we can just go to accounts or add other accounts if we want to if you want to receive well let's say you already put some crypto on your accounts then you can send them or if you want to receive on your on your cold storage you can do that go into bitcoin and you can receive or you can buy you can transfer now because you don't have any Bitcoin in your ledger. So again, for the firmware update, you cannot use your phone. You need to use a uh, desktop. Well, I hope this helped. So that's how you set it up with, with the use of a phone, in this case, an Android phone. Okay, bye.